Now, it's quite fair to say that I like Daleks. I like this Dalek. I like this Dalek. I like these Daleks. I like these Daleks. I like these Daleks. But I love this Dalek. He's so big and red and beautiful, and I love him. And I also like criticism. No, I'm not going to give you a load of examples of things I've criticised. That's what my channel is about. But today, I genuinely have something positive that I think I should share. And it's kind of also to do with a new segment that came out recently. See, Russell kind of announced that for a while within the main show, aka Series 14, and maybe even further, the Daleks are taking a break. And this might not be true. This might be a Russell-based ruse, but... I think that is brilliant. Now, yes, I could go into lots of little reasons why the Daleks are oversaturated, the Daleks need a break. And yes, knowing me, I will likely end up touching on those elements. But I think this is actually a more complex, layered argument. I was going to think of a third one because comedy comes in threes, but I couldn't. Complex, layered, um... Analytical. Did that even fit with the initial context? I don't know. Because if we think about it, Russell T Davies is still using the Daleks. Literally, on November 23rd, Doctor Who's 60th birthday, we are gaining the Daleks. Colorized, as in the second ever Doctor Who serial, colorized, smashed into a 75 minute format, and that is the way people are celebrating, not the anniversary necessarily, but November 23rd as, as the, obviously, you know, the 60th special is kind of the, a bigger part of it, but is, as, as in how they're celebrating November 23rd, just go with me. And then even the Children Need special that got announced, whether that comes out, I, I, I don't know when this video is coming out, depending on when I edit it, but the Children Need special that's either out or is going to come out is featuring the Daleks. And this is why I think I want to praise this move and how I would suggest using the Daleks going forward. Because yes, late in series 15 or maybe even series 16, I think, for example, if you were to tell me there would be three full series without a full Dalek story, I don't know, something in Doctor Who that would feel wrong about that. You know, you can do it as, you know, like a special, but like, but like more, like an actual episode. You, uh, the, the Daleks will need to appear in either series 15 or 16 for me. But what Russell is currently doing is laying out the formula for how that should happen. And I think he's doing it spectacularly. You see, we could all, and I probably have at some point, gone through, you know, like the modern Dalek stories, and you can very easily go, that one works, that one doesn't. And honestly... I think I've actually, well, I'm, I'm, I was about to say I've spotted the formula, but I don't think I'm that clever, and I, 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 I'm just going to tell you, in case you hadn't worked it out. Dalek stories work for two reasons. They are a big villain for a big epic finale. And what I'll also include with that is a, in a subsection is like specials, like Chris Chibnall used the Daleks. As a side note, I'm genuinely talking about that positively, by the way, but, but, but we'll touch on that. Or you have a cool, interesting, you know, like, it sounds a bit wanky, but like character analysis of the Daleks or like a darker plot line, which isn't your finale. It's not this big epic story, but it's, it's, it's more subtle and it's, it's, you know, like series one's Dalek or series eight's Into the Dalek, that kind of vibe. By the way, don't slander Into the Dalek. I, I, I genuinely think it's really good. Do people slander Into the Dalek? I don't know. Those are where the Daleks work the best. You know, we've had it a couple of times where Daleks open a series to make this big bang, but it's kind, it kind of, that's when the Daleks start feeling cheap, is it's just, we wanted viewing figures for our opening episode, so we put Daleks in there. Think Asylum of the Daleks, or... What's the series nine one? Which is familiar? I think is it is is it that? See, I I'm I'm for, for a Doctor Who YouTuber, a massive Doctor Who fan. I'm terrible with episode titles. I I am. It's ridiculous. Yet dates. I can always do dates really well of like when an episode came out. So, go. Am I a fan? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> so now we've established those are the two types of Dalek stories that work. We've also got to think. 
have these types of stories become oversaturated? Yes, a little bit. Look, Russell used the Daleks in most of his finales, then Chris Chibnall kind of used it to make his specials bigger. Not in a bad way, I think that was a great way, but they become oversaturated, kind of like this like big event kind of character. And also it gets to a certain point where you can't do that many intrusive character studies anymore. But, and this is what Russell has gotten right, the Daleks are special, important, iconic characters that deserve to be woven in the show in some way. So instead of using their iconicness to say bolster finale like he could do in series 14, but he's announced he isn't going to, unless that's just a misdirect, in case this video w w will not age very well. But instead, he's using that iconicness in a five minute children in need special, in something really, really cool to bolster the 23rd of November specials. That's the creative, cool way to use the Daleks. Whilst also giving us a very, very good, nice amount of time to get over the Daleks for a bit, to just ignore them. Because in the main show, yes, you know, if they pop up for a cameo here, like, like, it, like in the 60th, it's like specials, like, fair enough, if there's a Dalek in Wild Blue Yonder, you're kind of like, yeah, that's, that's a, it, 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 it's a special, the Daleks are cool, I'll back it. But in the main show, yeah, give them the time off, use them in the cool iconic ways, but not in the finale kind of way, in the like, we've got this cool Doctor Who children need thing, and there's a Dalek. That's a good way to use the Daleks. But also, this is an important thing. Excuse me. Motorbike, shut up. That's why you don't live by a road, children. But also, if shooting never meets the Daleks, say if, say if he's only doing two seasons, like, he's, like, mildly rumoured, but I think that's only because series 14 and 15 are filming quite back-to-back, -back, then give Shooty a longer break. If... Shooty never meets the Daleks. Every Doctor has to meet the Daleks, for me, in the main show. That's just kind of the rule. Like, you know, there are someone's, like, uh, the Cybermen, uh, it's fun if they do, but, you know, no, no one's, no one is ever going to be crying out going, you didn't get a Cyberman episode, damn it. Or, you know, like, the, the Master, say, Matt Smith never got a Master episode. Oh, no. Anyway, those are my rough, chaotic thoughts on the Daleks. Please subscribe. Video there. Subscribe. Click video. Subscribe. Click video. And press the like button.